Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new series of videos specifically for developers looking to get hands-on with MuleSoft's new IDE or Integrated Development Environment AnyPoint Code Builder. My name is Dave Norris and in this video we're going to show you how you can get AnyPoint Code Builder up and running. But before we get started, let's take a moment to recap on why MuleSoft is building a new IDE. An integrated development environment is really just a software application that allows developers to write code quickly and efficiently. And for many years, MuleSoft developers have had an awesome IDE called AnyPoint Studio. AnyPoint Studio is an Eclipse-based plugin that has pre-built modules to solve for common integration challenges. This is what AnyPoint Studio looks like. On the left-hand side, it has a file explorer to show you the files that make up your Mule project. On the right hand side, you have a Mule palette, which contains the pre-built modules you can use to build an integration. And you can drag those modules into the middle, which is your canvas, where you can visually build an end-to-end -end integration flow. And each step of the flow can be edited using a properties editor at the bottom. Now it's super easy to use, and as such, AnyPoint Studio will be in the MuleSoft Developer Toolkit for the foreseeable future. What AnyPoint Code Builder brings is an opportunity to see what a modern integration IDE would look like using the latest tools available today. It builds on the success of AnyPoint Studio, things like the ability to drag and drop pre-built modules into a graphical user interface, but starts looking towards the future for not only desktop, but also cloud-based development. Let's take a look at AnyPoint Code Builder in more detail. AnyPoint Code Builder is a new, modern, lightweight IDE powered by Visual Studio Code. And this opens up some new ways of working for both cloud and desktop based development. It allows developers to customize their workspace in a tool already familiar to thousands of developers. AnyPoint Code Builder comes in two flavors. The first option you have is a cloud IDE. Now this is an isolated cloud environment just for you. It's based on VS Code and it comes pre-installed with all of the extensions you need to be up and running. So no worrying about downloading software or what your machine specs are. The other option is a desktop IDE. This is based on Visual Studio Code and you can simply install it based on an extension available in the Microsoft Marketplace. The functionality and features of both is very similar. So which one you use is gonna be down to your own personal preference. Now to get started with AnyPoint Code Builder, you're going to need an AnyPoint platform login. And that's because the IDE is really just a small part of a broader ecosystem of tools and services that MuleSoft offers. It's not just about designing and building APIs and integrations, but it's also about how you're going to deploy them, how you're going to secure them, and how you will monitor and govern them. And that's what the platform has to offer. Now we're not covering those features in detail here, but I've included a link below for those interested in finding out more. I'm also including a link to a free 30-day trial of the AnyPoint platform to help you get up and running. Once you have your AnyPoint platform login, then sign in. Because whether you want to use the desktop or cloud IDE, there are some permissions you'll need to configure to give you access. From your homepage, click Access Management and navigate to either your user or configure a team to grant permissions to more than one user. I'm configuring a team here and have highlighted the permissions you'll need in order to design, develop, and deploy your APIs and integrations. Okay, so great, now we've configured permissions, let's get started with the Cloud IDE. From your AnyPoint platform homepage, you'll see an option for AnyPoint Code Builder at the top. Simply click Get Started, and then Launch. The launch button will create a new isolated cloud-based IDE just for you. 
It will take a few minutes, so be patient at this point. After a few minutes, you'll have a brand new MuleSoft IDE that has all the power and flexibility of Visual Studio Code, MuleSoft extensions for VS Code, and the Mule runtime all accessed from a within, within your web browser. Okay, so that was pretty easy. Let's move on to looking at how we get started with the desktop option for the IDE. To install AnyPoint Code Builder into your existing desktop version of VS Code, then navigate to Extensions and search for the AnyPoint Extension Pack. Then simply click Install. This is going to install all the dependencies needed to start developing APIs and integrations locally on your desktop. And AnyPoint Code Builder for desktop is currently available for Mac and Windows. After a few minutes, you'll see a new MuleSoft icon available. And that's it. We're now up and running with AnyPoint Code Builder on our desktop. We've just covered how to get up and running with AnyPoint Code Builder either using your favorite browser or locally on your desktop. I've included three resources that you might find useful. The one at the top is a link to the online documentation covering very similar steps to those we've been through today. In the middle is a link to the free 30-day trial of AnyPoint platform. And at the bottom is a fun trailhead module for you to try. If you're interested in learning more about MuleSoft, then please connect with us on LinkedIn in the MuleSoft community or on Twitch. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.